The cheers of tugboat crews echoed along the Suez Canal as the colossal cargo ship finally came loose, ending a crisis that blocked much of the world's shipping for almost a week. In the end, it took lunar tides and ocean currents, tugs and earth diggers to nudge free the enormous Ever Given, a ship longer than any Canadian skyscraper is tall. We used the water power that was in the canal with the returning tide to push the vessel where we were pulling it. And the combination of the two, as we hoped, at the end of the day did the trick. The backlog of some 400 ships carrying $10 billion worth of goods has now started to move. Oh, let's go. The big boat's predicament sparked joy online, but now in Europe's shipping capitals, serious questions are being asked. You know, what, what do we do going forward to ensure it doesn't happen again? Perhaps better infrastructure to handle today's bigger boats and contingency plans, so not everything is imported from one place. You need your supply chain to be flexible. You need your supply chain to be robust. You need to plan for this event ahead of time. You don't want to find yourself suddenly surprised by something like this with no ability to react. It will take days for the Suez backlog to clear, months for ports to handle all the ships now heading their way. And for Canadian consumers, likely some higher prices. All those goods awaiting missing parts. But on this sandy stretch of Egypt, the big thing now is to celebrate. Sasha Petrusik, CBC News, Toronto.